If the original source is something especially well received, then what is the necessity in recreating it? Why are we so eager to remake or remaster our favorite games, shows, movies, and the likes of entertainment? I'm not including the perspective from a big authoritative company, which is obviously only for brand recognition and the pursuit of making more yummy yummy profit. But remakes are also cheaper, with far less risk involved and can be predictably successful for an existing fanbase. But is it not better to experience something from what made it special initially? The Last of Us, a huge accomplishment in gaming history, has been re-released through three different generations, stamped with an additional new gimmicky title merely in the last decade. Silent Hill 2 was released in 2001 on the PS2, with now rather outdated graphics, controls, and gameplay, not to mention it's incredibly inaccessible nowadays, with copies ranging in the hundreds. For its time, it was an outstanding product. From a modern perspective, well, it's a nightmare. Yes, it's vintage-esque is what makes it so significant, but if the present day audience wishes to experience it, it must be recreated. So the task is given, but the responsibility must be upheld. We have seen cherished games churned into garbage and slapped with a remake label. We've also seen the other end of it, so we know that it can very well be done if given in the right hands. Concern was fair, given that Bluebird did not have the best reputation in the past, Konami didn't help this either with lackluster marketing and promotion. Threats were made, names were called, hopes were held low or given up completely. Bluebird had no choice but to push through the backlash and prove everybody wrong. Days tick by, the release draws near, and so comes out the overhauled rendition of one of my favorite games of all time. And yes. I did enjoy this remake, very much. Its flaws, while clearly there, are heavily overshadowed by its strengths. It is not easy being tasked to tackle a project that could shatter your reputation and turn you into tomorrow's lunch for enraged fans. But see, this is a common interpretation. Perfection is not the goal here. It's to create a worthy modern experience, faithful to the original for the people of today's world to appreciate. I. In one of those people. Silent Hill 2 was before my time, and so my bias came from no particular ground, hence why I am the unbiased critic. Bluebird Silent Hill 2 is just as eerie, sinister, and cold as the original. It maintains the basis while expanding on it entirely. Bold moves are made, but not excessively to which they come across as rash or disingenuous. In fact, those liberties taken are what enhance this remake from its source material. Expansion upon settings, distinct enemy behavior, building upon iconic characters, the game is beautifully overhauled. Familiar areas of the game are now painted in high definition, but just as grimy and tainted as they should be. See. These are all things that you would expect from a remake, but past years have spoiled our expectations and hesitancy is appropriate, even more so when you're dealing with a game, franchise even, that's so beloved. And this is Silent Hill, meaning there are certain themes that must be handled appropriately. I can safely, happily say, Bluebird knows these characters well and does them necessary justice. One of my biggest concerns was how the dialogue and reaction would carry over 23 years later. The otherworldly conversations shared between these uncanny characters was something for its time. For a present day adaptation, a more naturalistic approach must be utilized, but that would take away a certain charm from the original. Indeed, it does, but it's reiterated in a way that's still very Silent Hill. So much of emotion and expression is simply given through James' eyes. You can see the pain, despair, fear, guilt all pass through this broken shell of a man. Despite not experiencing a true nostalgia from the original, my deep love for Silent Hill 2 tells me confidently that it can't get better than this. I have my criticisms, but they can go to hell. This is truly a definitive remake, and if you haven't had the chance to immerse yourselves into this haunted town, there's no better opportunity than now.